Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today our topic under discussion is temperature variations with height in major thermal layers of atmosphere. As we already know that in our previous video that major thermal layers of atmosphere are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere and thermosphere. So we will discuss the variation of temperature along with the height in every or uh, each layer. As altitude or height has a major influence on the temperature density and overall variation of atmospheric characteristics. So in this picture you are seeing the relationship between height and temperature in various layers. So now we will discuss one by one all the layers. So first of all the troposphere. Troposphere is at an average height of 12 km. It is lowest over the poles about 8 km and highest above the equator about 16 km. Its height varies with the seasonal changes. It is highest in the summer and lowest in the winters. Air temperature decreases with the height. As the height increases, so air temperature decreases in this zone. And it goes about 15 to minus 56 uh, degrees Celsius in this region. So a narrow zone called the tropopause separate this layer from the next layer called stratosphere. So all the weather phenomena is related to this trop uh, troposphere. Clouds are formed in this region because 99% of the water vapors present in this region. Troposphere called region of mixing because of the vigorous convection currents within the layer. So convection currents and cloud formation and related phenomena will be discussed in our future videos. So keep watching. Stratosphere. Stratosphere is the second major layer of the atmosphere. It resides between 18 km to 50 km above the planet's surface. Air temperature remains constant up to a height of 25 km and it then starts to increase with the altitude and it reaches up to the minus 2 degrees Celsius and 90% of the ozone layer present in the stratosphere. As we know that ozone layer absorbs harmful radiations from the sun that can penetrate and nucleic acid and can damage plants and animals. The absence of water vapors prevents cloud formation and temperature inversions prohibit vertical winds. So, the presence of horizontal winds ensures smoother flights in this region as compared to the troposphere. As you are seeing that there is a, a major ozone portion present between the troposphere and stratosphere. So, mes mesosphere is the third layer. It extends from 50 km to 80 km. It is also referred to as upper tropos troposphere because here temperature decreases with the altitude. Basically similar to what happens in troposphere. So decreased concentration of ozone and water vapors make the temperature lower in this region. And um, the temperature in meso mesosphere is lower as compared to the troposphere and stratosphere. This layer reflects radio waves coming from the earth because of the formation of D layer by ionization. As we can say that some part of ionization takes place in the mesosphere. Next is our uh, fourth layer which is thermosphere and thermosphere is the last layer um, uh, according to the temperature variations. Thermosphere is the fourth layer of the atmosphere. The air is thin in this layer. Air temperature starts increases in this layer with altitude and it goes up to 1200 degrees Celsius and in mesosphere uh, the temperature was minus 92 degrees Celsius. So a small change in energy can cause a large change in the temperature in this region hence temperature is very sensitive to solar activity in this region. Thermosphere is typically 200 degrees Celsius hotter in daytime than in the nighttime and it is called that it is about 500 degrees Celsius more hotter when the sun is very active. So uh, as we know that uh, up to 100 km uh, or above the above the 100 km uh, space starts 
सो थर्मोसफेरिक पोर्शन इज बेसिकली वी कैन कॉल इट एज स्पेस सो स्पेस शटल एंड इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन बोथ ऑर्बिट अर्थ विद इन द थर्मोसफेयर एंड आयोनाइजेशन ऑल्सो टेक्स प्लेस इन दिस रीजन विच फॉर्म्स ई एंड एफ लेयर्स विच रिफ्लेक्ट्स रेडियो वेव्स एंड फॉर्म्स और बरल्स एंड और ऑस्ट्रेलस एज यू कैन सी दिस दीज आर द कलर्ड लाइटनिंग पोर्शन और बरल्स हैपनिंग इन द नदर्न हेमिसफेयर वाइल australs are happening in the southern hemisphere so our topic is here thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel and wait for the next video we will discuss composition of atmosphere in our next video